We mount it on the frame, put the cyclers, put the cabinet, uh, pre-wire everything, and then we can, with a forklift, just put it on the truck, bring it to the customer. Very easy deployment. You just connect water and electricity, and then you're good to go. Greg Schultz here with Charge Magazine. I'm here with Dr. Chris Meisner from AVL. We're here to learn a little bit more about AVL and the products that they're featuring here at the show. Chris, if you'd tell us a little bit more about what AVL is known for. Of course, Greg. Uh, AVL, as you might know, is in 75 years engaged in the automotive industry. You know, we have three big divisions uh, describing what we do. We have a simulation uh, division, which is uh, providing solutions for advanced simulations, also in batteries. We have uh, powertrain engineering. This is the guys you are calling when you want to get something developed. Uh, for example, when you're a small-scale sports car manufacturer and you need a hybrid battery for your newest uh, model without having the, the capability to do it yourself. And we have a test systems division where I'm coming from. I'm responsible as the global VP of battery and cell testing for the field of battery testing. I would say we are one of the three or four companies in the world that can turnkey build you also very big uh, uh, cell and pack testing labs turnkey. To dig deeper into the products that you just mentioned, how do they respond to specific application manufacturing needs across the EV automotive production cycle? So, this show here today is about uh, the new product introduction for our uh, new line of uh, cell testers, which we call Ecoline. They are very decent in terms of uh, accuracy, also 0.02%, 200 ppm of accuracy for concerning on range. Yeah? So they have three measurement ranges. They are air-cooled, uh, made for, for also more harsher environments, so you don't need a sophisticated cooling concept in the facility, uh, much easier to deploy and uh, very affordable. AVL is uh, engaged in the entire food chain of, uh, of cell and battery testing, and what we also do is a little bit represented here on the screen, you can see here, this is a simulation, but you can see here a battery test lab. Yeah, here you have, for example, the cycler I was just uh, speaking about. This is the new product we introduced with uh, a whole range of, uh, of currents, yeah, depending on the output current you need. 12 amp, 50 amp is more for the uh, 18650, 21700 uh, cells, and eventually for, for 4680. Uh, if it goes to higher currents, we are in the pouch and prismatic uh, cell testing. And you can, of course, parallel the, the channels. You have per cabinet uh, multiple channels. So this is uh, already prepared for easy deployment. Yeah? But this is nothing where we stop. Yeah? We also have fixtures that go into the climatic chambers. Yeah? This is also a homemade product. Very easy. You, you put the cell in on a, on a mountain table or whatever, you prepare everything and then you just put it into the, into the, the cabinet. Yeah, we also have uh, cabinets and we have integrated solutions. This is the butterfly solution. We mount it on the frame, put the cyclers, put the cabinet, uh, pre-wire everything and then we can, with a forklift, just put it on the truck, bring it to the customer. Very easy deployment, you just connect water and electricity and then you're good to go. Yeah, so yeah I was, I was noticing yeah. that. It seemed a little different than what I'd seen in the past there. Yeah. Is, that, is that something that is unique to ABL? There is also integrated solutions from others. Yeah? The beauty about that system is you know, we can play with different components. We can utilize the echo line cyclers, we can utilize the performance line cyclers, we can use different chambers. And when the customer wants uh, fewer channels per chamber, we can do that. We can work with larger chambers for more cells in the chamber. Uh, we can configure that and uh, it remains very reliable because we do all the cabling, which is normally done on site in our factory. And uh, this is reducing the risk of, of errors later on. We can have easy deployment. We need less time on site. 
thus less cost for the customer. And what we also hear for completeness have on display is uh, a short view on our automation system. Yeah, this is uh, the well-known Lynx. This is a very famous automation system for uh, battery and cell testing, especially in North America. To create an efficient lab, lab management is a thing which is very important. Yeah? Here you can really play on the uh, on the efficiency. You can centrally manage how your test plans are created, that people only use release test plans, that you do efficient energy management, that uh, you have uh, planning and replanning if uh, equipment, for example, needs maintenance. Yeah, you just have with one click a replanning and. Uh, According to your priorities, your tasks are, are replanned and uh, continue efficiency. This is really what's needed to create an efficient cell testing lab nowadays. So, one final question that we have for you today is looking into the future, we were talking about that a bit. What are some products that you have coming up, and what are the impacts that they could have on manufacturing abilities in the area? One thing we will do is we will enlarge the uh, offering with the integrated uh, solutions that I've explained to you and then um, as we think uh, software is becoming more and more important we will further continue to work on the automated data analytics and, and things like that. For example, as AVL, we are capable to offer uh, solutions to customers where when you test a battery, we automatically train a battery model. Yeah? Um, and when you do this a couple of times, the battery model gets better and better. And at a certain point, you can start predicting uh, the results of tests you plan to do. Yeah? For example, how will the temperature behave with a certain, for example, an RPT test or so? How will the voltage develop and so on? And when I have the predicted uh, temperature development, I can uh, compare that to the, the real temperature uh, and uh, use this, for example, as a safety feature. Yeah? When the, the gap between projected and, and real gets too big, I interrupt the task. Or we have uh, AI-based uh, methodologies to shorten, for example, lifetime testing in uh, in cell testing, which is a very long process that takes three sure. to six to nine months usually. And we can take out 20 to 40 percent of the test times with uh, training uh, battery models and utilizing this to predict uh, the results. Not all cells usually age the same at the same speed. So we can, with the behavior of the quicker cells, we can predict how the slower cells will age and this way save test time and therefore also. Uh, capex for, for customers because they need less uh, equipment uh, for, for the same test results. Thank you very much. We appreciate you taking the time and have a great rest of the show. It was a great show. pleasure. Thanks.